Welcome to my channel Inspiring Brains. This is Hari, completed physiotherapy, currently doing medicine and a part-time biology faculty. So in this video, I am going to discuss about class 11 portions, the weightage and again I am just dividing into two parts, slab 1 and slab 2. So uh, slab 1 will be easily cover uh, coverable topics, slab 2 you need some basics, right? So class 11, first I am going with inorganic chapters. So classification of elements and periodicity, second is hydrogen, third S block, P block part 1, chemical bonding, the inorganic of class 11. Next is organic, so general organic chemistry, so uh, hydrocarbons. Environmental Chemistry So these are all the chapters of Organic and Inorganic of Class 11 Now I will go with the weightage Periodicity it is 4% And Hydrogen it is 2% This is 3% 7 put together So 11th and 12th put together the P block will be 7% And Chemical Bonding is 9% so general organic chemistry will be 5% Hydrocarbons 4% And environmental chemistry is 2% So periodicity In this lesson we will be covering about the periodic table And this is a general topic in which All the S block, B block and F block will be covered So you have to arrange this in atomic radii Or size So those are all the questions Hydrogen is a half a day concept Anyone can read this in half a day so S block, B block, again all the important questions, all the variations, all the exceptions will be the question. Chemical bonding, of course you should know the shapes, so hybridization, shapes and this will be uh, in touch with the another lessons, coordination compounds. Organic, general organic chemistry, this forms the basic of every organic. So IUPAC, naming, uh, mesomerism, resonance effect, everything is organic. Hydrocarbons, uh, it's not tough or not easy, it's a medium level unit. You can finish tough and you get 4%, one or two questions. Environmental chemistry is more of a theory concept. So anyone can read it in a very short period of time. So don't leave this environmental chemistry also. So this is inorganic and organic. So now going with physical. So the chapters are some basic concepts of chemistry. Then states of matter, structure of atom, thermodynamics, equilibrium, redox reaction. So percentage, it is 5 percentage and this is 3, this is again 3, 3 again, 7 percentage and this is 2 percentage. So some basic concepts of chemistry. So you got some formulas where you can directly apply and get the answer. But still many will feel it has a difficult chapter because uh, it needs some practice. So you should know how precisely you have to apply the formulas to get the answers. So it's somewhat easy only when it is practiced. States of matter. Of course you know solid state, liquid state, gaseous state, gaseous state, equation, PV is equal to NRT, those things. It's somewhat easier. Structure of atom. So if you are so good in atomic physics, atoms and nuclei, then this lesson is a cake for you. You can easily deal with this lesson. So either you, you have to study this to attend the physics or that to attend the chemistry. Thermodynamics. So as I already said, if you, are, if you know the thermodynamics in physics, it will be easier in chemistry also. Only the sign will be changed. Otherwise, uh, thermodynamics will be applicable both in physics as well as in chemistry. And next you got equilibrium. So equilibrium you got two parts. One is chemical equilibrium. The other one is ionic equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium itself carries 3%. Ionic equilibrium carries 4%. So it's one of the weightage. Uh, it has more weightage than any other units. So just concentrate on equilibrium. And finally redox. Of course redox is a preliminary unit. So if you know this unit you can apply in many chapters. So don't leave this redox. It's a small chapter which needs a precise thing to apply in various chapters to get the answers. So this is all about the physical chapters of class 11. 
So the next thing I am just going to classify into slab 1 and slab 2 based on how you can deal with this. So slab 1 which you can cover it easily even if you start now. So slab 1 first is inorganic. So inorganic lab uh, you can go with periodicity then you can go with S block then you can go with hydrogen so this is an all easiest unit so this is for inorganic so organic so some basic concepts of chemistry is of course a tough unit at least go with some isomerism IUPAC naming how to name the compounds next you can study with environmental chemistry of course it's a theory and you can clear it easily it's very easiest unit so this is you can go with organic for slab 1 and for physical so again uh, some basic concepts of chemistry because uh, of course everybody will know this it's 11th first chapter right structure of atom since uh, we'll be studying in both physics or chemistry then states of matter don't leave this unit and finally redox these are all physical so slab one unit is uh, I'm just planning in a very easiest way in such a way that you can easily cover anyone can study these units in the slab one and you can even score more marks using slab one once you're done with the slab one and you're you are very sure then you can go with slab two so this is applicable for both the persons even if you are fresher go with slab 1 and if at all you have time go with slab 2 and if you are a repeater or anything you can easily cover slab 1 in a quick time then you can go to slab 2 so now going with slab 2 so slab 2 so in uh, starting with inorganic so you can go with p block you have to complete uh, both 11th and 12th portions then you can go with chemical bonding Actually, this chemical bonding is more weightage unit, but uh, you cannot study in a hurry way. You cannot complete it. So, I just kept this uh, chemical bonding in slab 2. So, this is for inorganic. So, organic, remaining part of the first lesson, remaining part of some basic concepts of organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. Then you have to go with hydrocarbons. So organic. Third is physical. Of course, uh, equilibrium. You got both chemical equilibrium and ionic equilibrium. And then go with thermodynamics. So this is for physical. So this is all for slab 1 and slab 2. So once you covered both the things, then all the chapters of the uh, 11th chemistry will be in your pocket. You can easily score more marks. Chariya. So first go with slab 1 and then slab 2. It's more of uh, based on the percentage and it is also based on how you can uh, clear the chapters. Because some chapters though it weights more, it's weighs more, but it is difficult to understand in the short span of time. Hence I scheduled in such a way that anyone can study and start start and study the slab 1 units whereas slab 2 needs some time and you also need some basics. <laughs>